sensing. Today I'll teach you about R RBC disorders, okay? In pathology, okay? What we are going to discuss in the RBC disorder, okay? Firstly, we will then discuss about a radical site after general RBC introduction, and secondly, we will discuss about RBC indices, okay? Like MCH, MCHC, MCV, and RDW. We will look at them one by one, and thirdly, we will discuss about the peripheral smear. Peripheral smear is the most important topic ever because maximum question will come from that topic. Okay. Fourthly, we will dis we will discuss about our anemia, its classification and general introduction, anemia introduction. Okay. Now let us begin with that. Okay. RBC introduction. Uh, before going ahead towards these four topic, let us discuss little. Let us discuss about a uh, little more about RBC how it for. Okay. Hemoglobin. Okay. Uh, uh, we have the H. SC hematopoietic sensor center hematopoietic sensor center converted into common myeloid precursor what common myeloid precursor okay then common myeloid precursor further get converted into pro erythroblast pro erythroblast and these pro erythroblast cell further get converted into early normal blast what early normal blast and these early normal blast further get converted into intermediate normal blast and these intermediate normal blast get converted into late normal blast late, late normal blast get converted into reticulocyte reticulocyte and reticulocyte finally get converted into rbc that's a brief view about rbc formation okay uh, but we will discuss uh, in detail about the rbc formation in another video okay let's have important let us let's discuss something important here is that the early normal blast also called as basophilic normal blast what basophilic okay basophilic normal blast okay and the intermediate normal blast called the polychromatic normal blast what polychromatic polychromatic normal blast and late normal blast called orthochromatic what orthochromatic normal blast i think you should remind these three words basophilic polychromic and orthochromatic okay mm. let's have a discussion over important questions in examination examiner can ask some important question like hemoglobin first seen in which state first seen in which state your answer should be an intermediate normal blast that is polychromatic normal blast intermediate normal blast okay and second question that examiner can ask from you is ferritin molecule you know iron containing molecule ferritin molecule ferritin molecule seen in which state firstly your answer should be in pro erythroblast what is that pro erythroblast here pro erythroblast don't forget these keywords and these questions highly important question for examin examination purpose okay now let us discuss about the reticulocyte what the, our first topic reticulocyte reticulocyte uh, i already told you about reticulocyte that is a reticulocyte which is a precursor of rbc okay let's have a discussion about a reticulocyte it's intermediate precursor of RBC. What? Intermediate precursor of RBC. Okay. Don't forget that. And it do not have nucleus. No nucleus. No nucleus in that. Okay. Highly important. And that equals side also no nucleus is observed. Okay. Thirdly, the normal. What is a normal reticulocyte? Normal retic count. Do you know what is a normal retic count? Normal normal retic count reticulocyte count i will um uh, i'll write reticulocyte in retic form okay like that right normal retic count is what is the normal retic count that is 0. 0.5 to 1.5 percent that means one over 100 rbc you will find one reticulocyte in 100 rbcs when you will count on peripheral smear okay and fourth thing 
and reticulocytes. What is the important, most, 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 most important question here? What is a stain? What is a stain? Stain for stain for retic. What is a stain? Stain is supra vital stain. What supra vital stain? We use the supra vital stain for staining the radical side, radical side. Okay. What is a um, special feature here? Uh, I already told the what is a supra vital stain. What is a vital here? Vital means vital is for living something. Okay, living. It stains the living cells. Okay, that is a special feature feature here. And uh, what are the example of supra vital stain? Examples of supra vital stain like brilliant, cassile blue. And new methylene blue. Okay, and uh, what we stain in that living tissue? We stain RNA and ribosomes. These all are the important question here, like brilliant crystal, crystal blue, new methylene blue, staining tissues in a staining cell, RNA ribosome, superadal stain, all are important. Okay, you have to remind that. Now uh, let us. Discuss about uh, radiculocytosis and radiculocytopenia. Do you know what is radiculocytosis and radiculocytopenia? Uh, radiculocytosis and radiculocytopenia. Radiculocytosis, um, radiculocytosis increase in radic count. Increase in radic count more than 1.5% and radiculocytopenia less than what? 1%. Okay less than 1% or 0.5% or 0.5% is a reticulocytopenia. Penia, penia what's for? Decrease. Okay, here radical count decrease. Okay, let's discuss about references one by one. First reference is reticulocytosis seen in acute blood loss. Whether radical Reticulocytopenia seen in aplastic anemia. What do you mean by aplastic anemia? Aplastic, aplastic term used for the bone marrow suppression. Okay, bone marrow suppression. And second point here is in a reticulocytosis is hum it is seen in hemolytic anemia. Hemolytic anemia, blood loss. Okay, and uh, reticulocytosis. I already told you in a bone marrow suppression and to see the response and treatment of iron vitamin 12 deficiency anemia if you wanted to see the uh, response of reticulocytosis to see the response to treatment in iron or vitamin b12 deficiency anemia okay and secondly, here we can uh, reticulocytopenia also can see in the, some drug toxicities and iron deficiency anemia. Okay, it's all about a reticulocytosis, retic count, reticulocytopenia, and uh, let us discuss about a uh, RBC indices. Important topic: RBC indices. What is the RBC indices? I already told the four type of RBC indices. The first one is MCV. MCV, what do you mean? MCV mean corpuscular volume. Mean corpuscular volume. That is volume of RBC. Okay, volume of RBC. What is the normal volume of RBC? That is 82 to 96 femtoliter what femtoliter okay that is a normal value of rbc uh, mcv okay according to mcv what according to you should remind that it's important concept clearing thing according to mcv according to mcv anemia is categorized in three categories that is according to mcv okay first category is microcytic anemia microcytic second category normocytic anemia third category macrocytic anemia uh examiner can ask you that on the which rbc indices 
on the basis of which RBC indices anime is classified into a microcytic, normal cytic, or macrocytic. Okay, on the basis of MCV. Okay. Let us discuss about this type of anemia one by one. Hmm. Microcytic anemia. Microcytic anemia MCV is less than 80 femtoliter. And you can memorize the microcytic anemia in which condition wipes anemia seen by other mnemonic Sita. What? What do you mean by Sita? Okay. As for sideroblastic anemia. Sideroblastic anemia seen in lead poisoning. And I4, iron deficiency anemia. T4, thalassemia. A4, anemia of chronic diseases. Okay. You can memorize these four keywords for microcytic anemia. Microcytic anemia seen in that four major categories. Cerebrosic anemia, and deficient anemia, thalassemia, anemia of chronic disease. And uh, the macrocytic anemia in macrocytic anemia, C MCV is greater than 100 femtoliter. That is seen in four common disease. You can memorize these disease by Lady Haring Medical College. Okay. Alpha, liver disease. Okay. H4, hypothyroidism. Okay. M4, megaloblastic anemia. Okay. Because of folate deficiency. Because of folate deficiency. C4, cytotoxic drug. Except these both categories like microcytic and macrocytic. All are all in normal cytic anemia. In normal cytic anemia, MCV is 80 to 100 femtoliter. Mm, that is that can be seen in a plastic anemia. Sickle cell anemia or hereditary spherocytosis. Okay, hereditary spherocytosis. Hmm. Uh, it's all about the MCV. We have covered the first topic, MCV. Okay, let us see our another topic. That is M C H. Okay, second topic that we are going to discuss is M C H. Okay, <clears throat> what do you mean by M C H? Mean corpuscular hemoglobin. Okay, mean corpuscular hemoglobin. That is. A literal meaning of that is mass of hemoglobin per RBC. What is the mass of hemoglobin in no, one RBC? Uh, what does it indicate? MCH indicates the color of RBC. If there is highly concentrated uh, hemoglobin in RBC, the color will be darker. If there is less R at hemoglobin, the color will be paler. Okay. What is the normal value? Normal value of MCB is 27 to 32 picogram okay 27 to 32 picogram what is the formula of mch mch equals to hemoglobin per rbc count okay you should memorize that formula and as i told you the classification of anemia based on mcv let us see the classification of anemia based on mch according to MCH anemia is classified into two categories that is normochromic or hypochromic. We have two types of anemia here normochromic and hypochromic. In normochromic anemia, the MCH is 27 to 32 picogram that is normal value. Okay, in hypochromic anemia, the hemoglobin or MCH is less than 27 picogram. Okay, I think you should, should should remind that. Um, we have one important question here. That is frequently asked question in all exams. That is, microcytic hypochromic. Microcytic. Hypochromic. RBC seen in which condition? You, you know what is what do you mean by what do I mean by a microcytic hypochromic? Microcytic means small. Hypochromic paler in color paler okay uh, micro microcytic hypochromic rbc are seen in iron deficiency anemia important most important 
okay let us discuss about our third parameter that is mchc what is that mchc mchc means mean corpuscular mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration okay mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration what is what does it indicate it indicates hemoglobin in given volume of packed rbc okay packed rbc that is 45 percent normally you know mm, the pcb mchc formula is hb upon pcb mch mchc equals to hb upon pcb what is the normal value what is the normal value of mchc normal value is 33 to 37 gram per dl okay got it uh i have another important question for you is increase mchc is seen in which condition that is hereditary spherocytosis just kept in mind keep in mind that okay let's discuss about our fourth important rb synthesis that is rdw what is the rdw hmm? you know rdw let us discuss about the rdw 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 is red cell distribution width okay red cell distribution width a red cell distribution width <clears throat> we can also define it in another way like it is a coefficient of variant of rbc or we can define as degree of anisocytosis what is uh, our anisocytosis as uh, i already defined that coefficient of variant of rbc size that is change in size is anisocytosis okay anisocytosis and what is poikilocytosis poikilos poikilocytosis is change in shape okay rbc disturbance is poikilocytosis is another topic okay but you have to remind that anisocytosis is seen in rdw red cell distribution width and what is the normal value of rdw that is 11.5 to 14.5 percent okay and now uh, the most important mcq that i'm going to discuss here is most 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 important question rdw is used to differentiate between iron deficiency anemia and thalassemia thalassemia okay that is rdw is rdw is increased in iron deficiency anemia and rdw is normal in thalassemia okay it's all about the rbc indices and now we will discuss about the peripheral